The NFL, home to 32 teams that have captured the hearts of millions of fans across America. But each NFL team warrants some form of hatred. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we dive into one reason why everybody hates your favorite NFL team. And a big shout out to Trey James for suggesting this video. Arizona Cardinals, you are Rams, 49ers, Seahawks, or Packers fan. They pounded the NFC West foes. Also, they broke Aaron Rodgers and the Packers' hearts in the 2009 and 2015 NFL playoffs. That will always bring bitter feelings towards Arizona fans. Atlanta Falcons all hype, no action. One can only wonder how much we lose in fantasy and gambling money by betting high on them and their players every year. Will Matt Ryan ever do something? Baltimore Ravens, a lot of punks. Ray Lewis is long retired, but his alleged involvement in a double murder back in 2001 will always paint a dark image over this team's head. Terrell Suggs loves running his mouth at opponents, too. And let's not forget about Ray Rice. He was a member of the Ravens as well. Buffalo Bills' Rex Ryan. Hard to hate a team that hasn't made the playoffs in 17 years, but head coach Rex Ryan fails to back up all of his trash talk to opponents. He's pretty easy to hate for that. Carolina Panthers' Cam Newton. Be it his over-the-top dabbing celebrations, his refusal to talk to the media when he loses, or his all-around arrogance, Newton is all you need to draw haters. Then again, he's a proven winner, and we as fans hate those. Chicago Bears' Jake Cutler How did this man get at a $126.7 million deal for throwing interceptions and looking uninterested on the sidelines when his team sucks? Cincinnati Bengals a team of punks. Adam Jones has been arrested how many times? Vontaze Perfect has delivered how many cheap shots? This Bengals team is full of dirty players. Cleveland Browns ask their fans. A new quarterback every year, a new head coach most years, and a guaranteed losing season. If anyone hates the Browns the most, it has to be the suffering fans of Cleveland. Dallas Cowboys, must we explain this? Where do we start? Jerry Jones is the most power-hungry owner in the NFL. Nobody knows why they're called America's team at this point. And people hate Tony Romo for being, well, Tony Romo. Denver Broncos' Vaughn Miller Miller is not a despised player, but AFC West QBs along with Ben Roethlisberger, Tom Brady, and Cam Newton would be happy to discuss how annoying it is to have this one man dash their playoff hopes so consistently. Detroit Lions, your team plays in the NFC North. They certainly don't win a lot. They're one of the worst sports franchises in American history. So the only logical reason to hate the Lions is if you're a fan of the Vikings, Bears, or Packers. Green Bay Packers, the winning tradition. The most NFL championships in NFL history, any Vikings, Packers, or Bears fan has to hate Green Bay. The 49ers and Cowboys also have a long, bitter playoff history with the Pack. Houston Texans, J.J. Watt? Heh, <laughs> the Texans only have two playoff wins in franchise history. People love J.J. Watt, but your team has to hate playing against him. He's the best defensive player in the NFL. Otherwise, we don't know. Why do you hate the Texans? Please tell us. Indianapolis Colts, Jim Ursay. He's kind of a weirdo. He posts random stuff on Twitter all the time. He failed to do much for Peyton Manning in Indianapolis, and he was arrested for drunk driving. Jacksonville Jaguars ask the fans. Jaguars fans sure don't seem to show up much to home games anymore. Nine years without the playoffs and with questionable ownership decisions. Why would a Jaguars fan actually like this team? Kansas City Chiefs, you're a Vikings fan. Hard to hate a classy organization that hasn't won much in decades, but Vikings fans must feel bitter about the Super Bowl for loss to the Chiefs nearly 50 years ago. Los Angeles Rams, Titans fan. The Rams tackle Kevin Dyson one yard short of sending Super Bowl 34 to overtime. Other than that, the Rams remain irrelevant, unless you're a Titans fan. Miami Dolphins, the irrelevance. Fans may bring up the perfect season from 1972 or even the Dan Marino years, but the Dolphins haven't been relevant for years. Why well, love them? Minnesota Vikings, Adrian Peterson. Again, another lovable loser franchise, but the 2012 league MVP tarnished his heroic status when it came out in 2014 that he beat his son. That's just not forgivable in so many people's opinions. New England Patriots, everything. Bill Belichick is the cockiest man alive. Tom Brady has the money and supermodel wife. Their fans are the most aggressive and annoying in America, and they've been nabbed in two high-profile cheating scandals. New Orleans Saints, Bounty Gate. The near-perfect image of this franchise was tarnished in 2012 when we found out that they were paying their own players to try and significantly injure opposing players. Like, really? New York Giants, all the rivalries. You Cowboys, Eagles, and Redskins fans despise this team. The Patriots feel bitter about those two Super Bowl losses, and the Bills fans feel bitter too. New York Jets cover too much? The Jets are pretty bad most years, but it doesn't stop them from getting unlimited media attention across America. Remember when Tim Tebow was their backup in 2012? It was front page news every single day. 
Oakland Raiders, their fans. You gotta give it to their fans for being overly passionate towards a frustrating team all these years, but why are we always hearing about these fights breaking out at Raiders games? Philadelphia Eagles, ruthless fans. Booing Santa, chanting for your own legendary coach to get fired, and always viciously insulting other fans and players isn't cool. Pittsburgh Steelers' historic dominance. Six Super Bowl titles. They're the model organization of the Super Bowl era. Talk to a Cowboys, Seahawks, Ravens, Bengals, or any other fan of a team that's had its hopes dashed by the steel curtain. San Diego Chargers wasting Phillip Rivers. Everyone respects the future Hall of Fame quarterback, but this team has always found incredible ways to ruin the careers of legends. San Francisco 49ers the dominance. Five Super Bowls. They crushed Dan Marino and kept him ringless his whole career. They owned John Elway and broke the Bengals' hearts twice. Seattle Seahawks Richard Sherman. He's got the biggest mouth in the NFL. He also backs it up way too well and shuts down your team's offense. You hate him because he's cocky yet great. Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you're a Raiders fan. Man who can forget that 48-21 blowout in Super Bowl 37. Raiders fans can attest. They'll always remain bitter about John Gruden leaving them and then beating them on the grandest stage. Tennessee Titans being boring. Let's be honest, there hasn't been a more boring team to watch in the NFL for the past seven years. They're just wasting television time. Washington Redskins Dan Snyder The Redskins owner is as outspoken as it gets, and many despise him for refusing to change the team name that some perceive as racist. Which NFL teams do you hate and why? Join us in the comments below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps us out a ton and we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to Total Pro Sports though, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.